Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel I post cool stuff about video production, filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve and how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient making videos for YouTube but not only. Today I'm going to show you how to render in place your clips in DaVinci Resolve 18 which is going to make your playback so much smoother and your computer run so much faster. So let's go. So you'll be asking yourself, why do you need to render in place a clip? It's pretty simple. The reason why you would want to render that clip in place is that your computer doesn't have to recache it all the time. It doesn't have to render it every single time you play it, every single time you do some uh, uh, modify, you modify the settings, you open the projects again. Your computer is trying to render all these files over and over and over again. When you render it in place, the computer doesn't touch it. It doesn't render it. It's like it is exported. So I'm going to show you actually a practical uh, example. So you see this clip over here, it's quite shaky. So if I go to video and I try to add a few um, effects here, let's say I'm adding uh, stabilization. So I go to stabilization, right? I'm gonna go and stabilize it pretty well like that. So I'm going to stabilize it. Right. Let's see. It's stabilized. Pretty amazing. A little bit, bit wobbly there, but it's fine. Let me just go to similarity. Stabilize a bit better. Strength a bit less. Right. Stabilize. Boom. Let's see. Much better. So I've added a stabilization effect there. Okay. Pretty cool. Now I want to add another effect. Like I want to add a um, smart reframe. Reference point. Right. Oh, this is the reference point. Let's reframe it. Boom. Nice reframing there. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Very nice. Now I'm going to go and add a dynamic zoom. Cool. Very nice. Now I'm going to go and add another effect, which is super scale uh, to enhanced. That sounds good for me. The computer is rendering. You see here, the computer is rendering the file. I mean, that's a lot of information that the computer needs to deal with. Can you see that? Can you see how it's playing? It's horrible. And imagine you are working on a very, you know, big project. You know, you need to wait a lot. You have a lot of footage. Maybe you have raw footage. Maybe you have a lot of effects there. Maybe you have uh, clips um, that you've added in um, in Fusion page. I mean, your computer requires a lot of power to deal with these files and render them all the time and keeping them ready to play. So that's why you render the, the files in place. So it's simple. Right. Let's try and render it in place now. OK, so do uh, right click on the mouse or double tap on your uh, touchpad and render in place. And then when you see this, uh, your computer is obviously will ask you to render uh, this file. This is not um, uh, the resolution or this is not uh, the settings you will be exporting your project is just for the playback. So these are the settings you want this clip to be play back to you. OK, so Apple ProRes 422 is uh, probably the best and this is the codec. You know, if you want to change the settings, these are the best settings that DaVinci Resolve recommends. So I would say, I mean, don't even bother changing them unless you know what are you doing. All right. So uh, once we've done that, you click render and then it's going to show me where do you want to render this clip. Uh, I want to create a new file on the desktop so I know where my files are. Render. So I'm going to put it render in place, render in place on my desktop. I want to see where this file is open. And then now it's going to render this clip. It's going to take a while, obviously, uh, because we've uh, we've put a lot of effects on this clip it, because it's a, such a shaky footage. I've uh, added uh, the stabilization. I've added uh, reframing. <laughs> I've added dynamic zoom and I've added the super scale, which is crazy. It's a crazy amount of uh, um, 
of effort that the computer needs to take in order to uh, make this clip uh, playable. But DaVinci Resolve makes miracles and you will see. You will see how it was before and how it's going to play now when I render this file in place and I don't have to deal with this file anymore. And obviously this is when you have a bigger timeline. This is when you are, uh, you're, you're doing this. Boom, done. So remember how the, the playback was a few seconds ago? Look at this now. Look at this playback. Rendered in place, no problem. Look how smooth it is. Compared to how it was before. Look how smooth and how easy it plays. This is it. I mean, this is the beauty of uh, rendering in place the files. And these are the situations when you have to render in place. When you have a big timeline and then you don't want to um, let your computer render these files over and over again. The computer knows that these files are rendered, it's all done, it's finished, now you can focus on other clips. And this is it guys. You see how easy it is to render in place a file and how much easy it's going to be for you uh, in order to edit fast and not put so much pressure on your computer. Because whilst it's rendered in place, that's it. The, the computer won't touch that file anymore. It's not going to render anymore. It's not going to do anything is not going to apply any more settings to that clip it's done it's finished and once you export it obviously the same clip that was rendered in place it's going uh, to be exported with the settings you choose later it's so cool i use it all the time and uh, if you ask me when do you have to use it obviously you have to use it when you apply a lot of effects on that uh, particular clip. Obviously, you have to use uh, this when you're working with bigger files, when you've put a lot of um, uh, settings in into that clip. Um, I don't know, a lot of uh, motion, a lot of keyframing. Um, maybe you, you've done some uh, work in Fusion. This is when you're rendering place the file and then you move on to the different clip to edit. And this is it, friends. I hope you found this video useful and interesting, and I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.